Early on, one Christmas morn in Bethlehem, a child was born wrapped in a cloth in a manger made no grave. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Glory in the highest, peace on earth, In Luke chapter 1, we have this song that Mary, the the mother of Jesus, sings. And we have a lot of songs recorded in Scripture. It's kind of interesting, like something happens to people in the Bible. And there's often kind of this culture understanding of, of singing. And so Mary, she begins to sing this song about this blessing that she's she has uh, been granted with in carrying uh, the Savior of the world, Jesus. And uh, she, she sings out, and she doesn't just sing out for joy, but she starts reflecting on all the good things the Lord has done. So this teenager, Mary, this Middle Eastern teenager, just begins remembering and reflecting on this. This is this long-awaited uh, Messiah. This is uh, you have led your, your people through your strong hand over and over and over again. And she is now part of that story uh, as a teenager. And you know, all of us have somehow, through the grace of God, entered into this wonderful birth of Christ in that we've been invited to his, into his family. And, and though we're kind of late to the party at times, 2,000 years later, uh, we get to reflect this Advent and remember Christ coming. And so may we, as we, as we count down the days to, to Christmas and we await and we long for a Savior, may we too remember the long line that we stand in and how the Lord has been faithful. And we reflect on that and we hope in that. So no matter what, no matter what we've gone through or, matter, or no matter how unlikely uh, of someone that that the Lord would even choose to bring us salvation, uh, may we receive that as a gift. And just as Mary did, uh, though we may, not, we may not sing out in song, but we would sing out from our hearts um, that the Lord has been faithful to us and He has granted us His salvation. Come, Lord, your wounded world is yearning for you to come again. Come, Lord, your weary world is crying out for you to lift us up out of our despair, our hunger, our thirst for something better, our need for the food that will last. Come, Lord, come again. We need to begin again. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill to men. Yes, it's he, the Lord.